Now we will cover the deep steered diffusion filter workflow, which facilitates the structural interpretation and sharpen the faults in seismic data. It is a pre-processing step for fault attribute like similarity and best used as intermediate step to fault enhancement filter as it might create some artifacts. Because the amplitudes are shifted laterally, we should not be using it in QI analysis. For that, we start the 3D attribute engine, select the default attributes deep steered diffusion filter, select the original seismic as input and steering background as steering input and OK. So the attribute is defined. We keep this window open and we go to the inline, add and select data, the deep steer diffusion filter and their attributes and OK. This will compute on the fly this attribute and display it on the scene. We go back to the Attributes Set 3D window and click on the Evaluate icon to evaluate the step out of the Deep Steering Diffusion filter. So we set the Evaluate to step out and the initial value will be 0 and the increment 1 and we set the step to 5 then Calculate. Once the evaluation is finished, we can move the attributes and the evaluation windows to the side. Then we move the slider to change the step out and see the impact on the 3D scene. We evaluate uh, which step is the best removing the random noise without creating too many artifacts. Once we are happy with the step out, we can just press Accept and we close the Attribute Set window. Now we can compare the deep steered diffusion filter with the original seismic. For that, we go to the tree under Inline, Add Attributes, and under Store, we select the original seismic and compare the two cubes by checking and unchecking in the tree. The seismic looks cleaner around the faults and they are more sharpened. This concludes this workflow showing how to calculate deep steered diffusion filter.